Hello everyone, welcome back to part 7. We're right by some like railroad tracks and this like non-profit building over there. And um, we found a pull tab. Now, typically I'll make videos about these, you know, because they're just trash, but it just shows you that there is trash, you know, any place that you go. And it's good to pick up uh, uh, pieces of trash and throw them away where they belong. You don't want kids getting cut up by, you know, pull tabs at parks here you know this is a small park I didn't find any coins here so this is definitely gonna be a bloopers video um, so I guess we'll go to the next location now so everyone we're at a baseball diamond okay well at least one of them there's another one over there and there's like a graveyard over there and I was just like mal detecting here you know uh, where the um, the hitter, I guess you would say, or the batter would be at. And I found a penny. This penny seems very old, like from the 60s. I could be wrong. I can't see the um, face of it. Um, but I'll clean it up and show in the next clip or so. Um, but yeah, I wasn't expecting to find a penny right there. You know, like this, this entire baseball diamond has been a dud, no signals whatsoever, and just randomly a penny. It's like, wow, you know? So, uh, I'll still metal detect here, uh, metal detect over by these benches here. Uh, this is the same day as I found that, uh, pull tab. So, you'll be seeing the date of this penny in the next clip. See ya. <laughs> okay, everyone. Hopefully you can see on camera that there's a patch of dirt that is more, uh, it doesn't have grass surrounding it at all. And I was curious, you know, if there was anything there. And I found a really old bottle cap. I don't know what brand it is, and I'm not gonna bother taking it home because I'm pretty sure the brand is completely off of it. I'm just gonna assume it's from 20 to 35 years ago. So it's been baked in many summers and it's very rusty. So I'm gonna be very careful with this. So I'm gonna throw it away. Uh, let's keep digging. So everyone, I'm uh, here at the third baseball diamond. I'm trying to be quiet because there's people up there at the graveyard. I don't want to disturb them too badly. And I remember playing at this uh, particular um, uh, baseball diamond here when I was little, like a decade ago or so. And it seems like it's just gone to terrible decay. No one's really been taking care of it, it's quite sad, you know, the grass over here is out of control, that's where like home would be, and then first base would be there, second, and third, and it seems like they've taken off the bases and just left this to like an abandoned state, in fact when I was metal detecting, I found this baseball, you know, old rotting baseball. I've never known what was in a baseball until now. I don't know if there's any bugs in there or whatnot. I'm not going to bother picking it up, but <clears throat> seems like Wilson is the brand. I don't know if that's a good baseball or not, but this would be for like t-ball and younger, um, younger people would be here playing baseball. And I was one of them. I remember one time, one of my uh, baseball teammates, he got a home run. I don't know how that was possible with him, but he did. He was really good. And it got all over the fence, and people were cheering on for him and whatnot. So, yeah, it's, it's quite depressing to see the decay of it now. But I haven't found any finds here at this baseball diamond except that penny and uh, some trash here and there. But, so let's go on to the next location, now. Hello everyone, I'm at the beach again. Hopefully you can see over there, it's packed full of people. I'm not going over that volleyball net over there. But today, uh, I found a quarter. 1982. When you press against Washington's face, you cannot feel the um, grooves. So 1982 um, P, so Pennsylvania, or Philadelphia. It's Philadelphia. Um, so let's keep on digging. Let's see what we'll find. We might find some jewelry or not. So, I'll, just, I'll uh, put in the next video now. 
So everyone, this is gonna be a live dig. In this clump right here, there should be something. Okay, I think I see it sticking out. It was uh, like uh, in the sand area right by the sidewalk. So let's see here what it is. Definitely a coin. Oh, I think it's a penny. But I can't really tell because it's so corroded. Shield penny. I'll wash it up when I get home and take a picture, but let's see here. Yeah, I see nothing on him. Shame. So, right right where you see that, like, where my metal detector's at, I dug a penny. 2012. It's a little corroded. Kind of sharp. Let's keep digging. I don't know how much finds we'll find, so. So everyone, I'm at this like patch of grass here. They typically have markets over here and they sell fruits and vegetables and all that. And it's right by these old uh, railroad tracks. I found some old stuff here before. I don't know how long I'll be here. I don't know if it's public or private land, but they're doing construction over there. You can probably hear it. But I found a penny, 1995. It has some discoloration to it. I don't know if you can pick that up on camera or not, but let's keep digging here. I've, I've I found old cans. Um, and old can lids here and perfume bottles. So um, let's keep digging. Uh, let's see what we'll find. So everyone, I unearthed this. It seems to be a lid of some sort. I'm right by the uh, railroad tracks here. It seems like it would go like on a uh, alcoholic beverage or maybe a pop can, maybe. But I can tell you that this is old. It's from the 70s or 60s, maybe. So let's keep digging. I'm definitely gonna throw this away. So everyone, I found this. I have no idea what this is. It could have been a part of the railroad, of course. Maybe to hold up the uh, bridge itself, I don't know. But, I don't know. Uh, tell me in the comments below what, what you think what, what this is. Because I have no idea. Hello everyone, uh, we're at a school here. This used to be my school. This is uh, one of the episodes where I filmed where I got a ton of 60s and 70s pennies from it, or uh, coins. And I just unearthed this uh, 1968D penny. How cool. Let's keep digging here. I don't know how much it will find because I've been here before, you know? But who knows. Um, I didn't want to stick around at that um, railroad area. Because it just got a little too sketchy for me. P people uh, started pulling up and I didn't know whether or not they were going to call the cops or whatnot. So I just got out of there. <laughs> so uh, let's continue and you'll see the next clip now. So I found these two e eraser heads. You know, the ones with metal on them. I'm going to just throw them away. They're just junk. Of course, it's a, this is a school and you'll find these. So you'll see the next clip now. So while on this playground, I found this zipper, Kenneth Cole reaction. Um, I, I I think it would go on a jacket of some sort. Uh, so let's keep digging. I was in this playground area by the swings. So this bench I'm sitting on, right below me, I found a penny. This is a shield penny, and it's really hard to see the date off of it. Let me see if I can... Uh, if it'll focus here. Uh, but if it doesn't focus, it's a 2013. So that's cool. Let's keep digging here. It was in the uh, playground where I found that uh, zipper. Just two minutes after I uh, f started f uh, or finished filming that other penny, I found this one practically in the same location. Um, this is a 1982. Hopefully you can pick up on it. It has some like green corrosion to it. Probably from rainwater. It's a memorial scent. Let's keep digging. In those uh, wood chips over there, this is out of the playground now. Just some scattered wood chips. 2018D dime. 